Lehigh River subdivision uh, Ian here I have the the DCC system plugged in on the one section I have DC on the other so what I'm gonna do is just give you a little overview of this ESU uh, cab control system so this is our controller um, I've gone over this before a little bit but these are the icons that pop up so you can see I got my DNH locomotive um, there is a way to take an actual picture of your locomotive and have it show up there, but I don't know how to do that yet. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, just going back here, let me see. If I hit the back, this is what the main home screen looks like. So when you first turn it on, usually you got to go into that, and that's the settings, and you're going to have to look for Wi-Fi because it doesn't connect automatically. I already have it connected, but you gotta go in here and click on the ESU Wi-Fi to connect the cab. So I'm gonna back out of that. If I can get it, there we go. And then back out of that. And then we'll click on this. This brings up the uh, this is the operating system for running the trains. You can see at the top you got the DH Alco. I have the Reading Blue Mountain Northern uh, GP39. And then I have the SD50 in here. And then the RBMN is the Reading Blue Mountain Northern because I have both those locomotives consistent together. So they're sitting over there. So what I'm going to do is if we hit the sound icon right there both locomotives fire up over there so take walk over you can see the headlights aren't on yet so if we go ahead with the thing turn on the, turn on the headlights And then turn it to the right direction. Now the light's wrong. So to change the direction of the locomotive, which way they'd be going is just uh, these arrows right here. And then you can go back. That would be backwards for this. Because you can see the lights are now off there. The lights are on this side. So we'll go ahead and switch it back. And the lights come on this way. So one neat feature with these that I found. So this is on um, speed step 128 for the consist. So we're just going to throttle up here to 13. So as you can see I have it on, I turned it up to 20. They're going slow there. Now the nice thing is, you see this thing where it says kilograms? If I turn that on, now, and I speed it up, say we go to 50, it does not allow the speed to increase, but now it sounds like the locomotives are fighting to get this load up over the grade. And I really love this feature because who doesn't want to hear the motors whine out and with them just running along it doesn't stay idled up like that. So I really like that feature. And then you got 
your horn. You got the bell. Jeez. I can't get it to focus in there yet. There you see it. There's the bell. Just to focus back in. So those, that's a neat feature with the kilograms. Now if I take that off, and now it's going to let the train speed up. And then, it has the fan um, right there. So if I kick that fan on, it'll bring on the dynamic brakes. takes a second for them to kick on after you click on it. There you can hear the fans kicked in. And then we'll go ahead and shut the fans off. Shut that bell off. Okay, and now I'm going to stop it, reverse, reverse the direction, I'm going to move this one back, put up the speed stack, 27, so we're going to walk back over here to the D&H, and I'm going to switch that over, so now we're on the D&H. Going to turn the light on, and we're going to turn the sound on. And now it's going to go through its startup process. And we'll throttle that up to move. And I'm going the wrong direction, so I'm going to flip the direction which is there. It's easier to tell which direction uh, with the single locomotive. The consists are a little bit harder. But on this, it'll show up if you wanted to go back on the single locomotive, you'd pick the arrow on the back side of the picture. So that one's going up that way. I'm going to shut the red and blue more, more than down. So we shut the other one off. And then I want to show you is the... Um, weight on the Alco. So I'm going to throttle it up. And then that's just you use hit that weight. And you can run it the locomotive at a higher idle, which has a little bit more realism with your locomotives that have sound. So these are just some of the features that have uh, come to find with this, and I just wanted to share it because if anyone was, you know, thinking about this system, it's a really great system. And uh, I'm not really good with electronics and. I've done a pretty good job at uh, figuring out a lot of the things on here because I'm very bad at reading directions. So I just wanted to give you guys an overlook of that and I'm sure I'll do more videos on this in the future. So uh, with that being said, everyone have a good night and a good week.